Good afternoon. Welcome to the Lace House, as the governor just mentioned. Um, I can't tell you what a privilege it is to be here in front of you today as we, uh, um, we talk about the Chef Ambassadors for 2019 and our new incoming class for 2020. These chefs serve as a full year of representing in South Carolina at culinary, at culinary events and at targeted media missions, raising awareness and visibility in South Carolina as a destination with wonderful dining experiences. As we recognize the outgoing class and welcome our chef ambassadors for the upcoming year, we are excited to have with us today someone whose leadership and support provide the essential ingredients. Did you get that, essential ingredients? Okay. For South Carolina's overall growth and success. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Governor Henry McMaster. Thank you. Thank you. Again, again, I extend my welcome and First Lady's welcome. Peggy's been working hard to get the place uh, cleaned up and looking good, and we got new grass coming up, as you may have noticed, so take a good look before you leave. We're real proud of this whole whole complex here, but a uh, quick story. We got, uh, Peggy and I got married. I, first night I came home after the office, and she'd been slaving along to cook beef stroganoff. Yeah, well, it turned out I finally had to confess that just a hot dog would do me just fine. <laughs> but uh, I have, I've matured a little since then, and understand what goes into really great cooking. And there's a lot to it, and it's a very important part. That with, with our Department of Agriculture, and Parks, Recreation, and Tourism, and these chefs, and all that that reflects and represents, because our chefs are part of, of a, a th thriving, vibrant industry, industries, and it is a very important part of our state. We have people coming to South Carolina all the time, and those who, a lot of them who come don't leave. That's why in the last, since, uh, since in the last 20 years, we have grown almost, I think it's over a million people. We've gone for, from 3.94 million or something like that in, 19, in 2000 to, I think, just over 5 million now. So there's, there's something that's attracting people and keeping them here and making them happy, because people don't stay where they're not happy. And this, this entire industry, all these skills and all this talent are a great part of it. So I want to congratulate all of our ambassadors and thank you for the great work and all of those that work with them to provide this very significant part to our very happy and promising South Carolina. Did I leave anything out, Ms. McMaster? <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. From a tourism perspective, the Chef Ambassador Program has provided tremendous opportunities to elevate the culinary profile of South Carolina and its destinations. As this program has evolved, we have continued to explore and pursue new ways to showcase South Carolina's culinary talent. To date, the chefs have been featured attractions at a number of events including the Charleston Wine and Food Festival, Southeastern Wildlife Exposition, and Euphoria in Greenville. Additionally, the chefs participated in events at Southern Living Kitchens in Birmingham, and the Bon Appetit Test Kitchens, and at the James Beard House in New York City. These appearances helped generate great media coverage and social media chatter for the Chef Ambassador Program. We're certainly proud of the great success of this program, and it continues to be a wonderful experience driven by the individual flavor that each chef ambassador brings to the table. The travel and tourism aspect of the program is only a part of it. The other part is agriculture. And here to further define the benefits of the program is State Agriculture Commissioner Weathers. Thank you, Hugh. Thank you. Thank you, Dwayne. And before I uh, start with the remarks, I'm going to tell you one other story about the governor and first lady that he overlooked in their early marriage. Uh, Peggy was uh, trying to fine-tune a biscuit recipe to uh, impress her new husband, and after about two or three months of trying that, the governor finally owned up and said, Peggy, I love you, but you just don't make biscuits like my mama could. And she said, Henry, I love you too, but you don't make dough like my daddy did either. <laughs> so, anyway. That was a good one. Bet I'll hear that again. Uh, but it is a privilege to work with our fellow agencies, the PRT and the governor's office. The Department of Agriculture has been branding South Carolina agriculture for nearly 14 years now with the certified SC-grown labeling. Uh, research tells us that nearly 
Over four out of five South Carolinians recognize that as a, something coming from our South Carolina farms. We expanded that to the Fresh on the Menu program where over 300 of our state's restaurants uh, are partnering with our farmers and supplying 25% of what their menu items from, uh, contain from a South Carolina farm. So the Chef Ambassador program was just another great plateau that we've reached with connecting farmers in South Carolina with our consumers using the talents and skills of some of our state's best chefs. Uh, you know, I, I, as I've worked with them and see the, the work that they do, uh, chefs remind me a lot of farmers working long hours to be successful in a very competitive environment. Uh, one thing we added this past year it was to see them in their own environment, and we did a hometown dinner in each of the chef's uh, restaurants. And that was a real treat to get to have them really show off, if you will, uh, with great crowds and great uh, press support to further highlight what we're doing. Uh, 2019 was our fifth year, and in honor of that, we had five chef ambassadors, uh, whereas we normally have four. We have four this year. I will tell the incoming class that you've got some big shoes or big uh, aprons. aprons. <laughs> well, they wouldn't have a big apron now. Kevin may have a big apron, but uh, anyway, you've got big shoes to fill. The 2019 class, I think, really raised the bar a little bit more. Uh, then just they raised the bar, so you really got some, uh, uh, they laid down a great precedent. So it's my privilege uh, to introduce last year's team. Uh, three of our five chefs are here. Uh, late, well, two ladies first. Uh, Kelly uh, Vogelheim, did I, did I butcher that one? No. Hey, got it right. <laughs> From Florence, uh, great restaurant down there. Uh, Jessica Shaletto from right here in Columbia. And then Mark Collins from Charleston at uh, circa 1886. And Brandon Carter is not here today as well as Tanya uh, Harris from uh, Greenville. So we'd like to bring them up. <laughs> recognize them one more time. This is just a thank you for the hours that you put in to help us with this program. Thank you. And just a, something to recognize your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Let's thank them one more time. back and let's talk about the 2020 sure. class. Sure. Thank you, Hugh. Um, I appreciate your, uh, your, your kind words there and uh, also want to uh, tell you what a privilege it is to work with your agency. It has been a, uh, a privilege over the last six years to take this program and uh, interagency cooperation and collaboration. I know you uh, like to talk about that. We certainly had that, so thank you very much. So we'll now acknowledge the incoming class of 2020. So first, Chef Kevin Mitchell of the Culinary Institute of Charleston. Chef Mitchell began his training as a young boy in his grandmother's kitchen, where I think where some, a lot of us started, um, where he first paid his dues by picking greens, cleaning collard greens, kale, and spinach. This experience laid the foundation for his dedication to moving food from the fresh market to a white tablecloth, and he steadily climbed up the ranks, culinary ranks, ever since. Well, come on up, Kevin. Thank you very much. Wait, 
Sure. Some individual uh, governors. You got it? Yeah. 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 Congratulations. Our next chef of the 2020 class is Chef Raphael Delerta of Hamptons in Sumter, South Carolina. Born and raised in Milan, Chef Raphael Delerta was introduced to cooking at a very young age. His father's love of food and skill in the kitchen was a great influence at his young, at, in his youth and were early foraging, as were early foraging trips with his grandmother. There's that grandmother again where the only rule was, to come home, was not to come home empty-handed. After 11 years as the sous chef at the renowned Inn at Little Washington, Delerta joined the team at Hamptons. Raphael? Congratulations. Congratulations. Next in our 2020 class, we have Chef Jason Tufts of Malia in Aiken, South Carolina. Chef Jason Tufts has served at the, as executive chef at Malia's in downtown Aiken since 2017. Jason is a big proponent of using locally grown products and was nominated by the founder of the Chef Ambassador Program, Brandon Valley of Juniper Restaurant in Ridge Springs, South Carolina. Come on up, Jason. And the last member of our 2020 class is Chef Jamie Descalis of Johnny D's Waffles and Benedict's in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Growing up, Chef Descalis' father had four restaurant locations in New York, and it was in those restaurants that her love of the food started. In Myrtle Beach, she found an amazing sense of community leading her to open Johnny D's in the Grand Strand. In 2020, she released her first book, Making It Delicious, which is her first cookbook. Congratulations. Come on up.
One more round of applause for this 2020 class of chef ambassadors. <laughs> These professionals will spend a year with us to promote events and media missions that will promote South Carolina, as well as, as well as its culinary cuisine, not only around the state, but also around the nation. Thank you to Governor McMaster, First Lady as well, for supporting the program and to Commissioner Weathers for serving as a great partner in the effort to use locally grown and harvested food for this program. We will entertain any questions from the media at this time if there's, and uh, would love to have those as well. Questions for the Governor, Commissioner Weathers, myself, maybe for the First Lady. <laughs> Tell about the biscuit recipe, was it really? Uh... <laughs> no questions? If not, thank you very much. I appreciate everyone's being here. Appreciate your time today spending with us. It's a special day for us and I certainly look forward to highlighting our chef ambassadors in the food scene in South Carolina. Thank you all very much.